Central Hall for this special meeting it has been arranged on behalf of our church, the New Testament Church of God. I want to praise the Lord to know that you have responded to this call, a Macedonian call indeed it is, in this South London where we are. It is extremely difficult and expensive to promote the work of God and carry out his cause as one would wish. And your coming here this afternoon is the gesture of your goodwill and cooperation. Some of you have come all the way from Manchester, some from Birmingham. And I think 
Others are on their way even now. We do not know the diversities in the weather pattern. But one thing we can say, we that are here are glad to be here. And to those of you who came up and to this place for the first time, Westminster is really the central part of London. And as you go out of here, you will see Big Ben or the House of Parliament. And it is not hard at all to find because on your immediate right is the Westminster Abbey and that old chapel that so many of us that live here like to visit. Now, coming into this hall, which was built in 1912, you can see with what pride and joy they have preserved and have kept this lovely place unto the Lord. I would like you to know that this is the church hall and every Lord's Day they, they worship the Lord here. Therefore with all the reverence we have come to worship God in this lovely place. And I would like you to know also that uh, you are on record today. Every word you say, every sound will be recorded in this hall. And this is all the more reasonable that you be thinking about this all the time and if possible try to prevent the little ones who don't understand so that we can make really what will be a, amounting to at the end a joyful sound unto the Lord. Amen. Oh, what a friend when he was beside me to hold my hand and safely guide me. Safe in his arms, he'll ever hide me. Oh, what a friend he is to me. He lifts me high when I am crying. He turns my heart when I am sighing. He stands Oh, 
course, if you enjoy that one, <laughs> worthy is the Lamb. He words it that we should praise him. He came all the way for this purpose. That our hearts be made glad. And when our heart is glad, we would praise him. And when we praise him, it makes him feel good and use us for to bless others. I don't know about your mom. I just live from day to day.
Let me, let
the Lord. Praise God. We praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. It's our God. precious name of Jesus Christ. I deem this an honor and a privilege to be in Brixton and to share in this fellowship this evening. I'm asked to address you for a brief moment. My mind looked back for a while of a great event that took place over 2,000 years ago. While I thought upon those words, I also thought of the event that is supposed to take place sometime today in the United States of America. How well this seems to match us together, I don't read, but for them, it, if they achieve their goal, praise God. But I see something much greater than that as I think of the day 
when it was heckled about the Savior Jesus Christ, we are told in the Bible that the angel said unto the shepherd, Fear not, for behold, I bring you glad tidings of great joy which shall be to you and to all people. Amen. For a Savior is born in the city of David, a Savior which is Christ the Lord. For the first time in the history of the world, such bright hope as heifers had of the seen and echoed over the world. And the world and those who sat and looked for a hope begin to see a great light. And while they trembled with the fear of the presence, the angel said unto them, Fear not. A while ago we listened to some beautiful singing by the, the choir. But oh, they heard the heavenly choir as they sung glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, goodwill to all men. Because of that event that took place that day, you and I and thousands over the world can share such great fellowship as we have shared this afternoon. Not only that, praise God, but we are looking not only to see the event of the birth, but we are looking to see him coming again in glory. We are looking to see him coming again to receive us unto himself. For we are told that we are his, here we may be our soul. And this after all that we have done, and after all the building programs are finished, and after all the lovely singing is coming to an end, and after all the shouting, and after all the recording, oh, praise God, we shall be transformed. Oh, praise the Lord, for Paul said, we shall be changed. And this will be another event that the church is looking forward to. We are looking forward to see the saints be transformed out of the matter into immortality whereby we shall swear above where we shall lose the self where shall be we shall finish we shall finish with our troubles we shall finish with our problems we need no more building programs we shall rest oh praise god forevermore this is what we are looking forward to my brethren I'd like to say to you tonight that this is what we must keep in mind. We shall see him again coming back to receive us unto himself. And there we are he is. There we may be also. It behoves us therefore to keep this in mind that we will see him no longer as a babe, but we will see him coming back as our Savior. The writer said, who shall chain this vile body and fashion it unto his glorious body. Any man that hath this hope in him, said John, let him purify himself even as he is pure. He is coming again. He is coming again. Dramatic. The writer said, as the lightning flashed from the heat, even so will the Son of Man come in. Be also ready for in a moment when he think not the Son of Man coming. May God bless your soul. May the heavens shine upon your path. That you will be counted worthy. When he shall come, you will be in your place. God bless your souls. In Jesus' name. I shall like us to sing that chorus. I feel a spirit. Let us turn. Spirit. 
I feel the spirit. Dance on, move on.